Hey there! Welcome to a working in production of Zone Exercises from How to Eat, Move, and Be Healthy by Paul Check. Today we'll work smarter, not harder, focusing on Zone 3 for the upper abdominal and middle back areas. The related functions are digestion, assimilation, and muscles. Here you may find a deeper sense of awareness and your personal power and self-will. You may also use this particular zone for getting off coffee and helping to improve your energy levels throughout the day. Let's start with piston breathing on page 108. Stand in a relaxed posture. Take a deep breath in, allowing your belly to expand. From here, exhale forcefully through your nose. If you cannot breathe through your nose, exhale through your mouth while pursing your lips like a trumpet player. You can slow your inhalation and pulse your exhalation and give up to a hundred pulses. It sounds like this. Now, practice with the video. Now, moving on to horse stance dynamic. On your hands and knees, place your wrists directly below the shoulders and your knees, directly below the hips. Your legs should be parallel and elbows should remain turned back toward your thighs with your fingers directed forward. Inhale and raise your right arm up and out to a 45 degree angle and lift your left leg as high as you can without your pelvis swaying to the side. Exhale and tuck your elbow and knee in under your torso so that the elbows go past the knee. Use your abdominals to pull you to the end of the movement. Repeat set on one side, rest and repeat on other side. You want to do this in a breathing pace. And as you open up or bring your hand and leg out and open at a 45 degree angle, you will breathe in. And as you bring your elbow and knee together, you will breathe out. Do 10 reps on each side, following the video. Now moving on to the Swiss Ball Crunch. 
You can also do this lying flat on the ground without a Swiss ball. Caution beforehand, do not use if you have a lumbar disc injury or if you get dizzy when looking up at the sky or reaching into cupboards overhead, you may move a little more forward on the ball to perform this exercise. Stop this exercise immediately if you feel dizzy. This indicates a decrease in the blood supply to the brain and may be a symptom of vertebral artery occlusion. Consult your medical professional or check practitioner if that is the case. Now beginning on Swiss ball crunch. Lie over a Swiss ball or flat on the ground so that your back is comfortably lying in place. Your head should be extended back and touching the ball or the ground. Tongue on the roof of your mouth and as you slowly crunch up, imagine rolling your spine from head to pelvis. On the way back, unwind from the low back to your head, one vertebrae at a time. Exhale on the way up and inhale on the way back. To increase or decrease intensity, there is a beginner to advanced where you can place your arms. Arms reaching forward is the beginner, arms across the chest, intermediate, and fingertips behind ears without supporting your head or neck will be your advanced arm positioning. Do this at a slow breathing pace, up to 20 reps. Moving on to the energy push. Stand with your arms raised straight out in front of you. Inhale and bring your hands back in towards your body. Exhale and push your arms straight out with the intent of projecting energy from your core out of your arms and hands. Repeat this pushing to the center front left, front right and back left and right. As you push to the sides and back, keep your feet planted and turn your body towards the directions you are pushing. For the back position, only go as far as you comfortably can. Do not over rotate your spine. The motion through the rib cage massages the organs of digestion. Do this at a slow breathing pace of up to 20 total. You may focus on center if that is what feels right. Moving on to the wood chop. First, caution if you have a lumbar disc injury. Do not do this exercise. Stand upright and bring your arms over your head as you inhale. Exhale as you come down, bending at the waist as if you were chopping wood. There should be a natural pause at the end of the movement. Alternate your chopping left, right, and center. You may do this at a slow breathing pace, inhaling as you extend and exhaling as you chop down. 21 or more reps can be done on this one. Oh, 
Now to finish off this exercise routine today of working in, you may do the piston breathing. At your own pace, complete piston breathing for as long as you'd like and enjoy the energy you've gained from your working in today.